I'd like you to meet our new lab assistant, Paula Sweeney. Paula here is a woman scientist. Until she goes back to her job in the fall. Well, lovely to meet you, Miss Sweeney. Imagine that, a woman scientist. Doctor, my wife baked you this delicious pecan pie. Really? If your wife keeps making me these pies, I won't be able to fit into my lab coat. <laughs> you know, Doctor, if it's okay, I'd like to go home a little early tonight to visit my granddaughter in the hospital. The doctors are telling us if she gets to come home soon. Well, isn't that swell? Isn't science amazing? Oh, before you go, could you lock up old mittens? Oh, sure thing. You know, now that the women are doing science, it's only a matter of time before the cats are scientists. <laughs> a woman scientist. Paula, let me show you around. This is where the science happens. This device will one day be able to multiply and divide numbers. Think of it as an electric abacus. And this is where we're working on a teleportation device. Imagine, the possibilities are endlessly beneficial. Golly, it sounds dangerous, Doctor. Well, Paula, all great science is a little bit dangerous. That's why we have these safety goggles. Mittens, what are you doing in here? Don't you know curiosity killed the cat? <laughs> Let me show you how it works. Suppose you want to take this common umbrella and get it into the room over there. How would you go about doing it? Why, I'd carry it, Doctor. Well, then you'd have to fiddle around with the door. Don't you wish there was an easier way? And how? Now what, Doctor? Now I merely flip this switch, and the science can begin. Once activated, the door is automatically closed, trapping the science inside. It's also completely soundproof. Mittens, where'd you go, you little rascal? Uh, uh. This can sometimes take a while. Care for a cigarette while we wait? Sure thing, Doctor. Usually lasts longer than that. Oh no, not again! <sighs> Mittens, is that you? <coughs> oh god, what have I done? I should have known this would be dangerous! We interrupt your regular broadcast for this startling report. A strange creature has been terrorizing the citizens of Juneberry. Descriptions of the creature vary wildly from that of an elderly janitor to a bat umbrella man. What foul play could have created such a beast? And who will save us from its wrath? Mr. President, I'm afraid science has betrayed us. Yes, science. No, sir. I do not recommend it. My god. They're going to turn Juneberry into a war zone! Gerald! Our weapons are in against it. Great. My god. Stop it. The military has failed. What science has wrought, only science can undo. But how? My god, Paula, you're a genius! I could kiss that pretty little brain of yours. Maybe women really can contribute to science. Really? You think so, General? Doctor? I have a plan. How does it work, Doctor? Well, it's simple, really. The very air that keeps us alive can, with science, become a weapon against that umbrella abomination.
Sir, it's coming. Places, everyone. Hold. Wait for it. Oh, God, it's hideous. Damn it, Private. Keep it together. Now blow him. Blow him hard. Harder, faster. I'm blowing him as hard as I can. Yes! Oh, Doctor, this science stuff is just too dangerous for me. I need to go back to substitute teaching. Paula, never mind your substitute teaching. Make me the happiest man in all of Juneberry and marry me. Oh, Doctor! Damn it! Where's Willie? <laughs>